if this is the church leader that is, takes people a lot of locations when they need help, and uh, we were, were had an event, and she told me that she was not going to be able to take me because she was taking people to the food pantry. She takes, I mean, um, pretty much anywhere that people need to go, if they give her notice, she'll take them. That's part of her ministry for some people. Okay, so she said that she wasn't able to go uh, go to this event, but she we could go to this Indian place. I love Indian food. Okay, and I said, it sounds good. So then they put me out on the 11th. So I reached out to her, but these put-outs are premeditated and prearranged so they enlist people in my environment to abandon me and leave me in it and blacklist me from all help, knowing no one would believe my story. So I said, are you able to take me to another shelter because I got discharged for, from here, I spelled it wrong, for getting the wrong appointment time for case management. She does not say she hasn't returned since they put me out my calls or um, texted me because they don't want any evidence. And then I have some items in her car. We do cleanouts, So I put some of the items in her car and also gave my friend some. So um, I asked her, I have a cane. I asked her if I can get my cane. She ignored me. That was on the 12th. And then I said, I have still some items in your van. This is Kay. And she ignored it. And then I said, a lot of people slander me and scheme purposes to mistreat and ignore me when I need them most. I just told you the incident scared me, and you told me it should not up. I'm trying to get to the bottom of why an army full of people deny me help. They would give others. And then she didn't respond, and a lot of people punished me for reporting abuse or crimes. She didn't respond. And so I reached out to a church member because she's not responding. So uh, I said, Kavina, that's her name, can you see what Sherry is going to do with my item? She hasn't returned my calls or texts after I reported I was scared after the car incident. She also denied all of the help she has given you guys. Okay, she said, I'm not sure, sure if she received your text. She will contact you. I'm a strong advocate for peace. And then she gave me scriptures. She also has stared at me weird, keeps bumping me with my ba her bags and different things while, while we're in the car. She called me, interrupted me when I was trying to catch the 52 bus. And it caught me off guard, and I wasn't able, prepared and waiting for them in case they did something to malice to keep me from catching the bus, which they did. Okay, so she talks about peace. So then I say, okay, are you saying that you will, are unwilling to reach out to Sherry since she has not returned my calls or texts in weeks? And then she says, the texts you are sending me are going to Sherry also. It's a group text. I suggest you copy the same to her personal text box. Also, that way I don't have to talk to her. I said, this is strange for you to not want to help me out since she is ignoring me, but I will ask someone else. And then she says, another suggestion is that she is coming to Bible class today at PM Nest today at 3. You can talk to her there. I do not see a big issue here. The devil is trying to magnify it. Don't allow him. And then I said, are you gaslighting me? She helped you in your domestic violence crisis. Why do you believe I don't deserve the same help you got? She didn't punish you and desert you when you needed her most. The church told you, and I, she hasn't commented, um, responded since, and that it's 10.03. Years of this. That's why I'm recording.